All right, Lynn, thank you. From groceries and medications to rent and utilities, the cost of living has skyrocketed and thousands of Americans are struggling to make ends meet. KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim highlights the expansion of a Johnson County program aimed at helping people pay off bills and try and minimize some financial stress. The need is here and we're really not fine. Carol Weathorn is a lifelong Johnson County resident. She's lived and worked in this community for years until she was laid off during COVID-19. Trying to choose between food and lights sometimes, it's really difficult. Even with a part-time job at McDonald's and HUD housing, the list of bills feel never-ending for Carol. Financial safety nets during the pandemic, like the Affordable Connectivity Program, have also run out of funding or expired too. So that's going to be another bill I have to fit into my budget. It's a burden the Johnson County Aging and Human Services hope to alleviate. Johnson County Multi-Service Center, how can I help you? That's why the Board of County Commissioners voted to allocate $750,000 in federal COVID-19 funding to expand and its utility assistance program. It's not just about having like, you know, air conditioning or having a light on. It's also about that safety and well-being in their home. We want people to be safe. Also, we want to help prevent evictions. Qualified residents can now receive up to $600 per household. It used to be $300. You sign these documents right here. These the utility assistance program is a safety net for JOCO residents on fixed incomes or those facing income changes, family disruptions, or other crises. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and put this into the system. To qualify, you must live in Johnson County, meet the 200% federal poverty level, have a utility bill in your name, and provide documentation like your ID and the last 30 days of income. For Carol, it's a call she has to make. Sometimes people don't know where to turn to get the help. And sometimes it just starts with a phone call. Jiang Kim, KSHB 41 News.